Huh. You know, you've got a certain fire in your eyes. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. This video is kind of interesting. Um, I did a... The first thing is Boulder Fall Cave, which is a short, very short adventure. Um, so I decided to combine it with another adventure and show you how you can make money with a very common item, the pickaxe. They're all over the place in Skyrim and every mine. And well, if you enchant them, you can make some money with them. So let's get on with this video. If you are wandering around Skyrim, you might come upon a person sitting on an outcropping with a flag. And they notice you and you can shoot them down. It is an ascendant necromancer. We have come upon a necromancer lair, and this is Boulder Fall Cave. I knew I'd find you. Obviously, the necromancer had animated a corpse they had lying nearby. And once you kill the necromancer, the corpse they animate turns to dust. Now, you enter the cave, and it is just a very, very small adventure. Not a lot there, but it's kind of interesting. A master necromancer. That's it. You will find that the necromancer is usually leveled to your skill level. Now, there's not a lot in this cave. Um, empty soul gem, a few minor things, an alchemy table. Again, there is not a lot of treasure in this cave. It is a very, very small, short adventure. There is the treasure chest here, which is trapped. And you got a book here, which this should, yep, if I had not already read a copy of it, it would raise my alchemy skill. There's some stuff in a basket, potatoes, garlic, and the chest, again, it's trapped, and there's not a lot to it. A little burning there, and oh. Yeah. See, like I said, not a lot to this cave. No secret hidden passages. Nothing. Just a necromancer creating potions. And some ingredients to pick up. Slaughterfish. You know, scales, they're good if you're building a house. And putting up trophies on the wall. Yeah, really not much in this cave. I mean, like I said, it's just a very basic cave you will come across. Um, if you're thinking a lot of treasure, no. But that is it for this cave, and I'm going to move on to another part of this video and show you another location. Boulder Fall Cave is not too far from a dragon roost, and you can see it on the top navigation bar. And this dragon roost 
leads to a mine. So I'm going to fast forward to the dragon roost and let you see what happens. This dragon roost is North Wind Summit, and the dragon takes off right away. So you're going to have to fight him. And this is actually, there are some nice, um, how shall I say, bits of treasure lying around when you finally fight this dragon and I'm just gonna keep going with the arrows here collect the soul and let's see what the word is on the word wall here um, the word is, come on, ah, dragon soul absorbed is not the word. Here we go, here we go. Gotta get kind of close. Life, aura, whisper, whatever. Now we got the master chest and some gold, a scroll, whatever this is. Yeah, this is another add-on from the, um... 11th or 10th anniversary. I keep saying 11th anniversary because it came out on the 11th of November, the 11th month of the year. But it is the 10th anniversary expansion. You get some free stuff, but that is of a limited scope. Um, you get some alchemy ingredients. You explore these areas. There's a smelter, which is cool. Uh, you explore these cabins and you unlock this chest here, which, ooh, that, oh, I only broke one lockpick. This should be uh, not as easy as I thought. Nope, broke a second lockpick. Yeah, I got to get that lockpicking skill up to a point where it's insane and I can just open up the locks with one lockpick. Yeah, some minor stuff, but you got to look around these areas there looked like it was a mining operation that got attacked by a dragon and the dragon set up its roost here the next thing is the mine and it has some iron in it and it is the north wind mine very easy some skeletons you can just shoot them in the back here they don't notice me so pop that's gone and now we can explore the mine. If you don't know the mining trick about just enabling a pick and attacking the ore vein, sometimes you got to mine normally, but yeah, it's a lot easier with just the pickaxe and you attack the ore vein. Now, what I'm going to do is pick up a lot of the pickaxes. There are tons of them lying around every mine, and I'm going to ignore that skeleton. But there's a lot of pickaxes lying around, and the reason I'm going to pick them up is uh, you can enchant these pickaxes and make money. So I'm just going to now fast forward through. I'm taking the ancient bow and arrows for my house, but again, you pick up these pickaxes. They're lying all over in mines, and you can enchant them to make some money. I'm going to fast forward through the mining and then get to the enchanting of the pickaxes. Okay, now that I'm done mining and I've picked up all the pickaxes, I'm going to cut to where I enchant them and I'll explain to you how you can make lots of money by gathering up a common pickaxe putting on an enchantment, and then selling it. So let's get on with the enchanting. 
If you haven't built a house and installed an arcane enchanter, you can find an arcane enchanter. And the pickaxe, I have four of them. You want to put banish on them. And it doesn't really matter what soul gem you use. Just put banish on these pickaxes that you've gathered up. And you can sell them for a lot of money. Again, banish because that makes the pickaxe really expensive. So that is my Skyrim hack for you guys. Next time you go into a mine, not only carry out the ore, carry out the pickaxes, because there's potential loot to be made once you've enchanted them. As I stated, you can sell the enchanted pickaxes for some money. Now let's take a look. I'm talking to Seema. And now what have you got for sale here? And she has some stuff, but I'm going to go to the weapons. You look at the pickaxes. You're talking 986, you know, various amounts of money due to the, um, how shall I say, gem you use to enchant. But look at what you can buy from her, more soul gems. And then you sell her the enchanted pickaxes. Again, this is just a Skyrim hack. You can make a crappy old pickaxe worth 979 gold. And you can sell these crappy old pickaxes to a merchant after you buy soul gems from them. And you can enchant more pickaxes. Well, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave some comments. I try and respond to all comments if they're good. Um, if you like this type of video, I produce four a week. Hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you will not miss out. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.